All right, fruit lovers, this is Ross Ratty, and today we're gonna to talk about mulberries in this video. And I wanna highlight in particular this variety here behind me. I have two trees of the Girardi Dwarf Mulberry. It is, in my opinion, one of the most perfect backyard plants for anyone in a backyard orchard setting. It is a variety that is truly dwarf uh, and makes it so easy and manageable to grow a mulberry because by the way, they have about, <clears throat> I was just thinking about this, they have about three different stigmas that are attached to mulberries or three reasons why somebody wouldn't want to grow a mulberry. And I think this variety really puts all three of those to bed and solves them. First and foremost, mulberries are invasive, without a doubt. Uh, they're also really large trees. They grow so quickly and can become too big and unmanageable in a very short amount of time. They're also typically kind of make a mess. So if you just grow this variety, you can simply net it, and that way the birds can't get in there, eat the fruits, poop out the seeds, and put mulberry seedlings that will pop up everywhere. Um, and it's also not so gigantic because it tops out realistically at a six foot by six foot uh, size, which is the perfect size, by the way, you'd want for any kind of tree in a backyard setting. Uh, so it really just solves everything. Now, why is it dwarf exactly? Is it a particular species of mulberry that's dwarf? Uh, well, the answer lies in here. If you look at the production of this mulberry, the production is insane. I mean, just absolutely wildly productive. It's so productive that uh, the trees really don't grow all that much because the energy requirement <clears throat> that has to be put into these fruits is so demanding that the trees really just don't grow all that much. Look at that. So, yeah, this is just, in my opinion, uh, you know, it's got everything you'd want. And it also has the flavor component. I know there's a lot of mulberry heads out there maybe watching this video and thinking to themselves, oh, I have a variety that's so special and so tasty like Pakistan or, you know, uh, Morris Nigra or some other random mulberry that no one's ever heard of. Uh, but to be totally fair, this mulberry, because of the other traits it has, and if you think about the flavor of this, it's really not that far away from the best tasting mulberries in the world. I've eaten them. I've grown Morris Nigra for years to try to eat it. And that's well regarded as like the best tasting mulberry. It's a different species of mulberry. There's different varieties within it. Uh, and if I lived in the perfect climate and could grow Morris Niagara, I probably would over Girardi because it's also relatively slower growing. Uh, but in general, I think this is really not that far away. Um, it has a nice mulberry flavor. It's unique in terms of other berries. It's sweet. It has an acid component. To me, I think it's got everything. And so, yeah, I'm gonna just be eating some mulberries, picking them here. Maybe I'll make some syrup this year. Maybe I'll make some jam. Uh, I don't know what I'll do, freeze them. But there is so many this year that uh, between these two grafted trees I have, I'm gonna be in heaven. Oh, and by the way, if you have any seedlings that do pop up, just graft onto them. That's exactly what I did with these two trees over here. There's a second one back there. These were just seedlings that popped up and I grafted Girardi right on top of them. And uh, it was probably the best decision I ever made. And now I have about five Girardi trees in different places on the property. So thanks for watching this, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. We'll see you guys for more videos like this. Take care.